Right, I'm going to show you how some simple coloured dots can help you simplify the grip and get a perfect hold on the golf club. So let's just place the club down a moment. I have got some spots on there. On my glove hand, I have got a green dot. We know green means correct. And I've got a red dot. Red means wrong. So this one is on the pad of my hand. This one is more up through the lifeline. Now on my trail hand, I've got a green dot just on the top knuckle there. And I've got a red dot on the inside or the V between my thumb and my index finger. On the golf club, right on the top of the handle, we've got a green spot. And on the side of the handle, we've got another green spot. How are we going to use this? Well, what we're looking to do here is get the green dots to match on both the lead and the trail hand, but it's not what we always see. So let me show you how I would do that. I've got the green dot here on the top of my handle, and I need the other green dot to match it. Now you can see as I do that, how that basically gets the golf club to run very much through the fingers of my lead hand. You can see how as I connect those dots, I can then wrap my fingers around. What that means is it mobilizes my lead wrist. It gives me this leverage, which in the golf swing is so important when we're trying to create speed and power and flash speed down at the golf ball. Unfortunately, one of the most common faults that I see in that grip is when the red dot, which you can see is more through the lifeline of the hand, matches the green a lot more. That is a golf club or a handle which is much more through the middle of the lifeline of the hand. From there, I have such a limited range of motion. Those golfers who have that limited range of motion generally won't make a backswing and create no leverage. What they will do, if they can't get it from here, they will get it from here. So we often see these golfers who have the club too much through the palm, have an excessively bent lead arm at the top. The issue is that lead arm is actually helping them because it's the only way they can create some speed and energy. And as they straighten that arm out, it can create a little bit of speed, but it's not the best way. The best way is to get the green dot, which is on the pad of my hand, to line up with the top. And once you've done that, the little test is, as we did there, can I get the club up to horizontal? And that should feel fairly simple to do. Great little test. So that dot and that dot effectively helped me get this trail hand on. Sorry, it's my lead hand. Get the lead hand on perfectly. So what about the trail hand? Well, you can see I've got those two dots here. And now the green dot is on the trail side of the handle. Well, this knuckle, this top knuckle, has to connect with that green dot. As I do that, it puts the knuckle behind the club shaft so important because that ultimately helps us put some pressure as we come into impact. You can see how the back knuckle is putting that pressure onto the back of the club shaft. What we don't want to do is get the trail side of the handle being too much in towards that crease. You can see the red dot there. So again, golfers tend to hold it very much like this. And you can see how the red and the green connect very much a kind of fist grip or in the palm. And we often do kind of see this type of hold. I'm not going to get much pressure on the golf club. I'm not going to be able to create much energy and much speed. And I'm not going to have control over the golf club. Now, new golfers who are potentially really struggling will often have both faults. They'll have the club too much through the palm. They hold it too much in between there. And those golfers really struggle. They're almost bound to have the arms in this awful position at the top where the lead arm is bent the hands get very close to the shoulders and they're just going to really struggle with any kind of consistency, any kind of speed control. Now, the final point here is how do we actually ensure that we've got real control of the club head? Well, it all comes down to this green dot here and your thumb. If I showed you me holding a pen, the way I get control of that pen is by having my fingers that are holding it the same length or the same position on that pen. The same applies to the grip. When I place this trail hand on and I get the green dots to align, notice how this knuckle here 
is completely level with the end of my thumb. They're the same distance up from the bottom of the grip. It's that index finger and thumb that gives me control over that club head. That's so important. If the thumb starts to get longer down the golf club than the knuckle, as you can see there, I don't have that control. I suddenly lose sense of where the club is in the golf swing. I lose control of the club face, all those things that I absolutely need to do. Vice versa, if the knuckle is further down the grip than the thumb, again, I'm gonna lose control. So we want to make sure that we feel that we have control of the club head and we can make nice little circles and as I'm making those circles, I really feel like it's the index finger and the thumb on that trail hand doing that. Really good little test. So, three things that you can use to assess whether your grip is perfect. Top hand, green matches green. Trail hand, green matches green. And the last checkpoint is the knuckle and the index finger are the same distance down the golf club. That grip will work with all of the clubs in your bag, bar the putter. So practice it. Don't knock the ball off the peg. So practice it, work on it, and you can absolutely improve your golf.